everybody, Hatchel from Cape Town and welcome back to another video. This one is going to be all about my five steps on how I prevent cancer being over 40. Now there, there's a few things that strike such fear, you know, into a person's heart than to hear a diagnosis of cancer. None of us want to go that route. I mean, a lot of people survive, but the battle itself is very, very scary. Now, you know, cancer is a complex subject and there's no clear-cut answers, but nonetheless, science has already proven that that there is a couple of things you can do that will lower your risk for cancer drastically. Now, I'm not talking here about Facebook or social media kind of science. I'm talking about real science. Science that's got studies behind it that has proven that this, without a doubt, makes a difference. And this is the kind of thing I'm going to discuss here. But before we get to that, let's discuss smoking. I actually don't even want to touch on smoking because if you smoke and you know the risks that's involved with smoking and cancer, then you've already made the choice and you will carry the consequences of that choice. Okay, now let's start with my five step cancer prevention plan for the over 40 guy. Why for the over 40 guy? Because that's usually when the risk becomes higher. My step one, exercise. And yes, there's various science studies that has proven that exercise plays a big role in preventing certain specific types of cancer. And on another note, even for those that has got certain cancers, exercise improves their survival rate drastically. Okay, now what does science say? What is the minimum amount of exercises that we should do? The science study says three times a week of aerobic type of activity, that's about 20 minutes per time, and two to three times a week of strength training. Again, about 20 minutes at a time. Okay, my second step in cancer prevention, diet. Now there's a magnitude of science studies behind this, and it has shown that your diet plays a huge role in either increasing or decreasing your risk to get cancer. What do you need to do? What's the basics? You need to eat plenty of fruits and vegetables. You need to avoid obesity. Therefore, you need to control your daily calories. Obesity drastically increases your risk for certain cancers. You need to lower your alcohol intake. The risk of various types of cancer increases with abuse of alcohol. You must limit your processed meat intake. Various science studies have shown that by increasing your processed meat intake increases your risk for cancer. Number three, chemicals. Now guys and girls, one of the main reasons why we have so much cancer in this day and age is because of all the chemicals that is getting into our body and this is what we need to limit. Science has shown that through various studies that many of the chemicals that get into our body contain carcinogens that causes cancer. Our body doesn't respond well to chemicals. Now, what do you need to avoid? What's the carcinogens that you need to avoid? Now, the list is quite long. So the American Cancer Society has published the complete list on their site. And go and check that anything that you eat or drink must not be on this list. Even some of the medicine that you use must not contain any of these items. But there's a simple rule that I apply to help you limit the intake of chemicals. That is, avoid any food or drink that contains chemicals. With that, I mean carbonated drinks, artificial coloring, artificial flavoring, and any chemicals they use to preserve the food. Never use a non-microwave plastic container to heat your food in. All the bad chemicals is gonna go into the food. So just be very aware of cutting out any unnecessary chemical. Okay, point four, the use of antioxidants. There's been many science studies regarding the use of antioxidants to help prevent cancer. The two that stands out according to certain studies is vitamin C and alpha-lipoic acids. Something interesting that science has shown regarding antioxidants for those that has been diagnosed with cancer. They need to be careful to consume vitamin E and beta carotene. Some science studies has actually shown conflicting results when that is used. And in some cases, it has actually increased the tumor growth. Okay, my last point in my cancer prevention plan for the over 40 guy, and that is the use of cannabis related extracts. Now, a lot of debate is raging out there, you know, regarding cannabis and cancer. And science has come a long way already to show us some proof. Now, unfortunately, all the science studies that has been done was primarily just on rats and mice. But that is how all good science starts, is by testing rats and mice. And the preliminary studies have shown remarkable results. Cannabis is not a cure. It can only assist in the prevention of cancer or it can assist in treating cancer, but it's never the 
main form of treatment and can never replace conventional cancer treatments. During cancer, cannabis play a big role in helping limiting the side effects caused by chemotherapy. Now, the cannabis extract CBD or THC or combinations thereof has been proven to be most effective when used to prevent cancer growth. The big concern with cannabis and cannabis extracts is of course its concern regarding brain development. Now, that is mainly due to its THC components, which of course is a psychoactive kind of component. And that is why most people only use the CBD component of cannabis, because it doesn't contain the mind-altering substance. Okay, and there you have it guys and girls. Simplistic five-step approach, cancer prevention for the over 40 person. And believe me, and because this is backed up by real science and science studies, this is five steps that works. Please be very careful of following social media science. Usually it's completely fake or it's half truths at best. Check your facts against real science studies. Now, as a person of faith, I believe that when you've done everything that you can do to prevent something, and that something is still happening to you, then that was meant to be. But the problem is very few of us has got a cancer prevention plan in action. Now, if you don't got one, this is a very good place to start. Okay, just a couple of notes. Some of my important links that I want to give to you is number one, my coaching. I do coaching for the over 40 guy, body transformation system. I call it the advanced system too. It's a huge blueprint helping you to get everything into place step by step to enable your body to respond optimally. I'll put up a link for you on the screen. If you want to find out more, you want to sign up, that's a place to go. I also want to note that I've added a new page to my site. It's my supplements order page. That's a place where I list all my supplements that I prefer. All the supplements that I, I discuss in any of my videos, you will, you will find the links there as to where you can buy them and where you can find them online. Then on this page, the supplements order page, keep an eye open there. Regularly go and check in because that's where I will include any kind of deals that I organize for you guys. The newest deal that I've organized for you guys is where you can buy a home testosterone testing kit. So that means you can bypass all the doctors, all the visits, all the consultation fees and in the comfort of your home, you can do your necessary blood work, a very easy process. And then with all the pre-arranged envelopes and everything, you send off the blood work to the labs and within three to five days, they contact you and give you the information of your results. And there I've organized a 20% discount for you. The last guys and girls, just a reminder that those of you that can afford it, I'm asking for a small donation for my site to help me keep my information free and to speak positively into people's lives. And that is it. Gertler from Cape Town signing off. Until my next video. Cheers. <laughs>